hey guys welcome back so today we are going to see how do we create a package in python and how do we upload it to pypy so that it is accessible by people worldwide by a simple pip install so i have created this stock snap package and i have uploaded it to pypy so that people can use it by using a simple pip install stock snap command so so this stock snap is basically used to fetch data from google finance website what is google finance website let's see how does it look it looks like this so if you want to scrape data let's say sensex bse sensex which is the index of india or we can say nifty 50 or we can say an apple stock or indian stock reliance or any stock that is available on google finance it can basically fetch it so this is basically using web scraping we are scraping different parts of the web and we are presenting it in a better manner so that it can be consumed by the end user so to upload a package on pypy you need to first have a wheel file of that package so let's see how do we create that wheel file first of all you will start coding you will create your package so let me show you how does this package look first of all this is your package name that is stock snap inside this goes your main driver file that is stock snap is the package that we want to create by the name stock snap.py then we do all the relative imports that are needed then we create a public function that is exposed so in in the stock snap uh, class we have a function by the name fetch details and this fetch detail consumes the ticker symbol ticker symbol is basically the company symbol that we want so this company symbol is passed and we get a json response json string response so what happens we can see that inside google finance extraction inside the utils folder we have a class by the name stock code fetcher so this is your it is google finance extraction stock code fetcher so here is it how it works it basically uses beautiful beautiful soup and requests package so it requ request sends a request to Google Finance, it receives a response, it decodes the response and it gives us the final output. The final output contains all this, the ticker symbol, the exchange symbol, the LTP, that is the current price of the stock, description of the stock, previous close, that when it closed on the previous day, before, because we would be fetching data even at the end of the trading day or something like that, at any time of the day basically. This is the currency in which the amount is being presented because we are using multiple exchanges. So currency will also differ. The currency symbol would also be there. The percentage change of that stock, the change amount and the change type. Change type is whether it is positive or negative. Basically, it would give us a response based on this. So these are all the things that it is working for. So let's see how to convert this into a wheel file. So to convert this into a wheel file at the base level, at the same level of the package folder, we need a file called setup.py. For this, in the current environment that we are using, so I have the habit of using a virtual environment, that is I am using a virtual environment. First of all, we need setup tools, which can be installed by using pip install setup tools. pip install I have already installed it so for me it would say already satisfied okay so now this is the main file so this is the template that we used to create a wheel file so everything goes as it is you can simply this every every code is available on my github you can simply go and copy paste this code setup.py is present so here will go line by line find packages this is the most important part this does all the heavy lifting of the code so packages dot find packages basically goes and finds this stock snap and it will create this package okay and then we just go down we use description as readme.md we have a readme.md file here file here so it fetches from readme.md file then it fetches the long description from readme.md file 
basically description is what we are going to use the version is basically the stable version or we want uh, my app is currently in the alpha state so i am keeping it as 0.0.2 so minor changes only i am planning to add more changes and more features into this so gradually i'll keep on increasing the version numbers the name of the package that we are using make sure this name matches this name that is the name of your folder that you want to create a package of then version is basically what you provide author name author description author email id long description description content is marked down because i am reading it from the md file then find packages this will do finding of packages and also make sure you have requirements.txt file at the same level so it will bundle all this require include all this package data then install requires beautiful soup request bs4 and url lib3 these are all the packages that we want to in install first for this to work for our stock snap to work so in during doing pip install stock snap it will also install beautiful soup requests bs4 and url f3 these are the keywords that you want your package to be searchable for this is all the seo stuff and everything then development status i told you it is an alpha state it is intended for developers because developers will consume this and they will create a they would be the end users who will consume this package and you will do all the processing on that programming language is python 3 operating system it would work on unix mac os mac os x microsoft that is windows because i have not kept kept any os related dependencies so let's see how do we create a package file so we first make sure that we are at the same level of directory in the terminal then we do python setup.py this is the setup.py we are using this file and then we want to provide some parameters that is s dist then p dist underscore v v so this will create wheel files in the dist in the dist directory let's see we'll build a successful we can see two new folders dist and build build we don't want it now we'll just use dist in dist you can see two files are there one is wheel file and one is the installable file in linux so we want to upload both of this so for that we have a command so we have twine here that comes into play so once you have a pypy account you have activated and done everything with your pypy account you will have to do twine upload dist slash star so what it does it it uploads all the files in the dist directory here to your pypy you can see when you go to release history you will be able to see that this file this is my project so you will be able to see that there are two files here when you go to download file you will get a .tr.gz file and also a wheel file so we have to upload both of them so this command basically uploads both of them i am not uploading now because 0.0.2 is already uploaded and now now let me show you how this api works let's see this api in action so let's go to an empty directory a test directory i have it here i'll go to the command line just as i like to create i'll create a virtual environment test underscore env this will create a virtual environment for me because i don't want to mess up my existing environment global environment so i'll go into the test env directory scripts and then activate so my virtual environment is not active i'll do the same command pep install stock snap i'll basically pop it from here I'll go to terminal. I'll paste it. I don't need the specific version. 
I already want the latest version which is 0.0.2 it will collect it will download it has done downloading so I'll come back to my directory home directory and I'll do a code dot to open a new PS code instance I'll create a file by test stock snap dot py so from stock snap import we know there is a class name stock snap stock snap then what we will do is we'll create an object of stock snap we initialize this object and now we can use this object to fetch the details that is we can do what we do let's see let's search for apple so apple stock data equals to obj dot fetch details and then what do we do ticker symbol so basically we can see here is the ticker symbol of apple okay your die home and then right side arrow we can see just right of the home reliance comes complete reliance nifty comes nifty underscore 50 and sensex comes as sensex and sbin comes as sbin this is sbi state bank of india so we can say reliance no this is ppl because it is for apple same comes for google okay google ka is g o o g l g o o g l it is not complete e e is not there then let's see some indexes that is nifty 50 just type it as nifty data it is not a stock it is an index but it will still fetch fetch details we can say nifty underscore 50 and then what comes is we can see mm, let's take one more let's take sensex let's go data equals to obj dot fetch details so today is a non-trading day it is a bank holiday we can say but still it will fetch the latest trends the latest stock details we'll see in a minute let me add a few print statements let me do it quickly by just using some copy paste power okay we have it here so now let's execute it i would want to execute it within the terminal but you can execute it from anywhere it will fetch the details and it will show us on the screen uh, this is web scraping so it might take time at times it might take some time but let's wait for a minute here we can see we have data so for apple stock we did not get a response APPL we can see that APPL we have written and here it is AAPL so it won't give us a response right it was an incorrect ticker symbol but for Google we were correct G O O G L was the ticker symbol the exchange was NASDAQ the LTP was 172.49 let's see whether it is correctly fetching data uh, we'll go to Google G O O G L stock data finance yep it is fetching correctly 172.49 currently 
the description is alphabet inc class a that is alphabet inc class a previous close was 175.58 175.58 so what is the change we can see that the change is basically the currency is usd percentage change is 1.759 1.76 and it is in negative we can see red so it is saying that it is down yeah it is fetching correctly it is giving a dollar symbol same goes for index nsc so basically your indexes don't have a symbol exchange sim currency symbol because they are indices right they are not currencies so currency symbol would be null here but we can see that sensex was down by what was the change amount here percentage change was 0 0.142 and amount was minus 110 so that's pretty much it thank you so much